Well, it's it's exciting. I think some of the fans already know. Some of, you know, Arturo Rodriguez, tremendous catcher. He'll be behind the plate for us. We've got a guy coming in, uh, as well as Christian Mejia, um, that we signed that I think is going to be a good addition uh, named Francisco Arcia. Arcia played in the big leagues with the Angels. Uh, he's got great experience. He's a switch hitter. I think he's going to really help us as well behind the plate. Okay. You move to first base. Of course, Balbino is there. Our new addition, who I'm tremendously excited about, is Kenneth Vargas, you know, who comes to us from Saltillo. Switch hitter, power, uh, big poppy, little poppy, whatever you want to call him. I love the guy. I've been around him a couple of days. I can't say enough about him. He's going to be a great leader, a great inspiration for the young players on this team. Uh, we go to second base. Kevin Medrano will spend a lot of time there. People know him. Uh, Juan Martinez will be there quite a bit as well. Both solid defenders, uh, good hitters. Shortstop, I know uh, from a friend of mine that managed him this winter in Monterey, Roberto Valenzuela, tremendous professional uh, and a hell of a shortstop. This guy's really, really good. He also can hit. He's going to be a great, great player in the middle of the diamond for us. Uh, we go to third base. We got Josh Rodriguez. Um, I think Josh had a little bit of a down year last year, and I'm looking for him to really rebound and be good. I think he's going to have an opportunity to really come back to what he did in 2019. I think he's going to be a hell of a hell of a player. Alonzo Harris will be in left field most of the time. Uh, I don't think people need to know much. I mean, they, they already know him. They don't need to hear me talk about him. I mean, he was a 30-30 guy in Oaxaca. You know, this guy's been a great player in this league. MVP also. Well, I didn't even know that. MVP, okay. Good. El boy Alonzo, buen trabajo, senor. Okay. Uh, so, Cade uh, Gata is a young man we got to play center field. He came from uh, Sioux Falls and the American Association. Uh, also played this winter with Magallanes, the champion of the Venezuelan Winter League. Speed guy, power, strong kid, going to be really good. Uh, Rudy Flores is in for a little bit of a different scenario. He's going to be playing more outfield this year, you know, with Balbino and, and Kennis at first base, kind of alternating that to, to, and DHing. So I'm looking forward to Rudy. He's a good left-handed hitter, solid middle of the order bat, and he'll be spending a lot of time in the outfield. Uh, obviously, you've got uh, the Viborito Vibora, you know, El Sorio, who I know from Ven uh, uh, Veracruz. Uh, great player, veteran player, is going to be tremendous influence on everybody in this ball club. Um, other guys, Bader Gutierrez, I'm looking forward to seeing him. He's got a lot of skills from what I understand, as well as everybody else that was here last year. Um, let me talk about a couple of the other uh, foreign guys, uh, in particular pitchers that are coming in. I mean, you've got to really be excited about Junior Guerra. I mean, this is a, an established Major League guy with the Milwaukee Brewers. Last year he was with the Angels. I mean, that's really going to be a great addition as an abridor to our staff. Uh, along with him, we've got uh, Jose Flores. Chino. Yeah, uh, he's been in Japan the last couple of years with Chibilote uh, as a starter and reliever. He has experience in this league in the past. Uh, I think he was a reliever one time. Maybe Agus Calientes had a great year, but we're looking forward for big things out of him. Uh, one of our other starters, uh, I basically helped recruit this guy from the Washington Nationals. His name is Brian Bonnell, uh, strong AAA pitcher that was on the, uh, made the 40-man uh, roster last year with with Washington was in big league camp with him, spring training. Um, he's going to be a welcome addition. Uh, looking forward to having him. On the relief side, one other guy I want to mention, Nate Antone. Nate pitched last year also in the American Association with Winnipeg. He's a back end reliever, 94 to 97, hard slider. Going to be a great addition. I hope I haven't missed anybody. I'm, I think I got all the seven extra on heroes. Um, a lot of the, pe the guys that were here last year, people will already know and probably have a pretty good idea about their background, but I'm excited about it. I think we're going to have a, a well-balanced ball club. Uh, I think the bullpen in particular, you know, Wilkin, Rodriguez, some of these guys that were here last year, of course, Torres, the closer, God bless him. Uh, I wish he could pitch on this side, but, you know, we'll see him in Mexico. Uh, you know, I think they signed Donnie Hart, another lefty good arm. He's going to help in the back end. So. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. We're definitely going to be competitive, but more than that, you know, we got to win. Let's face it. It's a this game's not a try hard league. It's a do good league. You're expected to win. And you know, that's obviously my number one job. That's why I came here and hopefully we'll be able to produce, give that to the fans. You know what? You'd have to ask my boss. That's up to Mr. Flette. Uh, I, I don't know, but you know, if we do, we do. If we don't, we don't. I'm satisfied with what we have now. You know, there's always attrition. I mean, God, you know, 
guys get hurt, things happen. Maybe you got to add somebody. Um, you know, maybe somebody uh, has basically come to the end of their career and, and, and decides to step down. There's always things that are going to happen, so there's always change. But to answer your original question, the, the people we're starting with now, I, I, you know, I'm very pleased. Very, 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 very pleased. Yeah, I think it's sad. I mean, you know, I think it's sad that the fans have to see it. I think it's sad the players have to go through it, the ownership groups. I mean, I get it. You know, there's a union and, and you know, you're going to stand up for certain things. Um, I just hate that it's come to this. Uh, you know, I, I really honestly, I hate the fact that 42 minor league teams were dissolved last year. Um, they've done away with things. It seems like they're trying to, you know, scale the game down. Uh, means less jobs, less jobs for players, less jobs for coaches, scouts, everybody. Uh, you know, you talk about growing the game. Well, when you close one of these minor league cities to minor league or professional baseball, I mean, I think you've taken a piece of Americana away, and I, it saddens me. You know, it's because I uh, there's a lot of guys that start out playing little league, they go to high school. They go to college if they're lucky enough. Maybe they get signed professionally, get a chance to play. How many of those guys never get to the big leagues? I mean, if you look at a pyramid, the bottom starts huge. You know, the major leaguers at the top are a very select group. Well, all those guys that some of these big leaguers played with an A-ball that don't get there as players end up being your coaches, your minor league managers. They go to be your high school coaches, your college coaches. You know, that's how you grow the game, in my opinion. Yeah, I was born and raised in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, I presently live in Liberty, North Carolina. Yeah, I'm married. I'm sorry? Uh, no, Liberty is uh, very close to Greensboro, uh, Burlington, Triad area. Yeah, uh, more in the kind of middle north of the state. Um, uh, I'm the luckiest guy in the world. My wife, of, I believe, honey, hopefully I said this right, 13 years now, I hope. <laughs> I got married late, so... But I got the right woman. It took a long time for me to settle down. When I did, I picked a great one. Uh, she's the rock uh, of our family. She's a former Marine. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, it's, it, uh, there's some regimentation to our home life, believe me. Uh, also, I have three dogs, two Labrador Retrievers, and a little Corgi. Um, so very blessed. I have a stepdaughter, and actually, we have some somewhat notoriety-type people in my family. My stepdaughter is married to a former major... Uh, NFL football player, Brian Bosworth. I don't know if you ever heard of his nickname, the Boz. He played at University of Oklahoma, was a first round pick by the Seattle uh, Seahawks, played in the NFL, uh, was an actor after his career in, in, uh, in the NFL. So we've got a really cool family. It's a lot of fun to get together with these people, but uh, uh, you know, very lucky. We have a wonderful spread in, in the country. I live out in the sticks in the, in the country in North Carolina with my wife and the dogs. and. Uh, yeah, it's a good life. It's, it's good. I'm a lucky guy. Well, my wife married a baseball guy. You know, she knows more than anybody, you know, the life on the road. And, uh, uh, you know, I was actually two straight months in Korea without seeing her. And it takes a special woman to be able to, you know, I won't say put up with, but to be able to understand that kind of, you know, separation, that kind of commitment is pretty special. I got a great wife, but... Uh, yeah, hey, she knows. I go where the baseball is. You know, I want to keep working. And as long as I have a job and I'm fortunate and thankful and full of gratitude to be here as a manager of Tecolotes, and she supports it 100%. Nice. You know, I mean, I told you, I, I, I mentioned earlier, I, I read the book, Baseball on the Border, you know? And the, the Rodriguez family, the Lozano family, the people who have been involved, involved here for years and years and years. The tradition here is tremendous. I mean, forget the baseball. Now let's talk about the Vaqueros, where they first started, the Cowboys, and the way that things developed here, you know, back in the day. I mean, this area culturally, uh, with the Indians and, 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 the, and the Mexican people in the area, and each side of the border, how it developed, is really, really interesting. Uh, the demographics are really interesting. Personally, I, there's nothing I don't like about Mexico. I like the food. Let me tell you something. People say uh, Mexican food spicy, hot. Hey, if you ever get to Korea, it ain't even close. Okay. You would not believe. And believe me, Korean food's delicious, but it's some kind of spicy. 
So this is a lot milder for me. I really enjoy it. Um, the music, the people, uh, the energy, um, the respect that people have, especially for their families. The family unit here is extremely strong, very, very close. I mean, all these things are, I think, core values and, and, and something unique. And unfortunately, uh, I think we're losing some of that in a lot of parts of, of this great country. I think, you know, we've got a lot of division. And I think that's one of the neat things about working here is, you know, we have a chance to unite both sides of the Rio Grande, so to speak. Mira, mi español y mi opinión es muy bueno, man, en mi opinión. Pero, you know, uh, de de dependiente, okay, dependiente. But uh, it's kind of funny because I understand most all Spanish until the players don't want me to understand something. <laughs> and, then, and then it's like, okay, fellas, I get it, you know. But uh, let me just wrap up by saying in español, uh, uh, para todos los fanáticos aquí de los tecalotes, uh, por favor, buy para Estadio Unitrade y también la Junta Parque de Béisbol. Uh, este equipo eh, es muy interesante, con mucho pasión, mucho amor para béisbol. So vámonos, ok? Vámonos para Victoria.